What is up my crazy Vulcanians, my name is you can call me V and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. This is the fourth attempt of me starting this video. I am not joking, between an audio issue, between the um, game breaking, which I'll explain how that happened very shortly, do not worry, um, and basically me getting frustrated with myself, which I'll explain very shortly too. Yes, we're up to number four. So, game breaking, let's tackle that first, shall we? Number one, um, I placed the, um, I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> right, if you place that up there, there's no substation. So even though you repair the grid like I did, I repaired the whole grid. And that, it won't progress. I just did it again. How dumb do you have to be? Right, it's because I saved it up there. That's why. Um, and then I also turned off um, the speaking because when I was recording it, it did the exact same thing as it did in my main campaign where it just constantly spoke over me. And I love the voice cast of this game because it's the voice cast of the films. And I think that's amazing. Uh, I love Bryce Dallas Howard, she's an amazing actress and I wouldn't take that away from her merit because I'm turning the audio off. It's just frustrating as all hell trying to speak and then having, like right now I wouldn't be able to speak and I don't like that. But you can read it, if you've got the game you can enjoy the amazing voice cast whilst you're not recording a video. If you're recording a video for example it becomes in intrinsically difficult. Um, and I can sort of sit and wait for them to finish but I lose my train of thought very easily. Um, I do have that problem and so I don't think it's like the right thing to do. So as you can see the mission in question is to construct a ranger station, get them to move up and fix all the power networks whilst also fixing the power station. So we'll do that. Um, in regards to getting frustrated with myself I sort of openly talked about something that has caused me a lot of distress um, and sort of sadness if you will. Um, and while we go on this little drive, consider this like a carpool karaoke, but instead of karaoke, you're hearing some mildly depressing things. Yeah, this sounds like a normal car journey for me. Right, so um, a lot of you guys may have started to see a few comments pop up here and there where they basically are pointing out that my channel is not doing as well as it used to, or I'm getting barely any views, bearing in mind I have 12,000, nearly 13,000 subscribers. And I, I get that. I really do. Um, I took a year, um, nearly a year off completely where I didn't upload because of the fact that I was um, I was depressed. I was in a very, very bad place at the time. I went to therapy, I, or counselling in fact, not therapy. I, um, I'm still taking antidepressants. Um, I still have to take them as such. I am happy now. It doesn't mean that I can't not take them because of uh, the fact that my anxiety still exists and I can have depressive mood swings as well. I do suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. I have discussed it openly in the past uh, with you guys because I feel like I want you guys to understand the journey that I've had to go through so that if you ever have to go through anything similar, you can understand that everyone has the facility to get, you know, get their help or there are options of help, I should say. Not everyone maybe not everyone has the facility to get help that's bad of me to say that and I apologize but the point is is that I went through a very very difficult time in my life uh, I can clearly say a couple of years ago it was the worst year of my life hands down um, and so I took time off because I love YouTube I really really love YouTube but I wasn't enjoying anything and I, I, I'm not saying that like I wasn't enjoying doing YouTube but just YouTube I mean I wasn't enjoying anything at all I don't know if you've ever experienced having to go, you know, going to see a family, talking with friends, hanging out with friends, playing games, and not being able to enjoy something you have, something? <laughs> something you've enjoyed your entire life. It's, it's heartbreaking at the end of the day, it really is. And I remember leaving YouTube at a time where I was getting a uh, thousand videos each time, um, and I was a thousand videos each time a thousand views each time and i was having the time of my life i was collaborating with um the dino tubers or beaver scott bogdan um riot and it was uh, a riot at the time but yeah i um 
I, I do miss those times. I won't lie to you. But at the same time, I let a lot of people down by going away for a year, and I am very, very sorry about that. But I'm back, and people that have joined me now have been amazing. Like, we've got Persian, the guy who literally... If I do anything dumb, he will tell me and then tell me how to fix it. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, he's like my own counsellor. Oh. But then we've also got... Um, we've got uh, Gabriella, um, sort of always active. I think um, Gabriella's actually away at the moment. Uh, she mentioned she's coming back in a week or something. But yeah, we have Gabriella. Are you kidding me? Give me access to power! Ah! I've got to delete this. This is such... All right, for a tutorial, for a new campaign, this is dumb. And I love this game. I, I'm going to love this DLC. I love what's coming with it. Don't get me wrong. But this is intrinsically dumb. <laughs> so I need a research center and an ACU center. And I've got to build it next to the only substation, which means this is the only option I have got. No, I've got a ranger station. But it's letting me build elsewhere. That I, I know that a lot of people are probably able to do that off bat. They're probably able to figure that out, in fact. But it's not necessarily super easy for me. <laughs> so, I, but yeah, no, so I'm back now and I've got a lot of people. Um, I know that there are loads of others. I get that and I'm sorry I didn't mention you by name, but those are the only two that jumped to mind immediately. If you'd asked me tomorrow, maybe I'd have said different people, but who knows. Um, and I I am happy to be back and I'm happy to keep uploading. I'm happy to do it because it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's a challenge because I have to beat the YouTube algorithm. I'm uploading once a day, not several. I'm... I'm... A big, not big channel, but I'm a big small channel with sm very small channel views. So I'm not going to get anywhere in regards to the algorithm. <laughs> so having to tackle that is a new challenge for me. And I, I relish challenge. I really do. I enjoy being able to be put on my toes. But at the same time, I know if I made a new channel, potentially I'd have more chance. And there is part of me that's thinking about it. There really, really is. I'm probably going to seek guidance from someone, but... Yeah. Um, locate, capture, and enclose the following specimens. Right. Well, I have to make sure they don't die. Also... No. Um, also, another thing to note is they are losing health still. So this is going to be very difficult. So I need... Cinoceratops. Those are Stegos. There we go, so I need Cinoceratops 04. Wait. Thank you. Let's zoom in a bit there. We need Gallimimus and we need Stiggy. So where is Stiggy or Galli? You are Gallimimus, so I need Gallimimus 07. Stop. Ah, perfect. <laughs> uh, we'll wait for them to do their thing. These are Struthies, Gabarakis. Oh, STM. Where's STM01? Found it. Right, so when this task is now free. There we go. Good lord. Now that's going to take a while to get there. Because it's a super he slow helicopter. Slightly bummed about this fact this is a separate campaign. So if you guys aren't aware, this is a separate campaign. It doesn't use my progress. From my main campaign. Which annoys me. But at the same time, I like it. Weirdly, because I want it to be able to use all my dinosaurs, have all my resources available. But it's a new challenge. You get what did I say earlier? I love challenges. So this this gonna be alright. <laughs> First couple of videos of this are of course gonna be a bit shorter, allowing me to record more, get more out quickly. Cause YouTube algorithm. <laughs> and then um, obviously, they will get a bit longer as time goes on. For those that are curious, I'm aware that my My Talent Portrait, I think I've covered it already in some other videos, but My My Talent Portrait is not one of my most popular series, so I'm still going to keep doing it, but it's going to only go up onto my channel as part of a second upload. So if I get a day where I can actually go, today we're going to be able to have two uploads, I'll go, all right, well, we've got My Talent Portrait at, say, 6 o'clock, and then this Jurassic World Evolution or The Isle or whatever at 8 o'clock. 
that way I'm getting content out that you guys enjoy every single day. So not a lot, not a lot of you do want to watch my time at Portugal. But at the same time, I'm still doing what I enjoy, and I feel that's a really good compromise. So, see me, king of compromise, pretty good at that, aren't I? All right, I thought that was just the helicopter that we're waiting on, and I was thinking, my lord, you are taking your time, right? Come over here. Where's the chopper? Oh, he's dying. I would love for like a random event to happen and the helicopter just goes down. <laughs> it's like now, now you've got to deal with the fact that your helicopter's gone down. Ah, they don't drop below 60%. Cool. That guy might though, because he's in water. Ooh, T-Rex access on Sanctuary. Obviously going to do that. Considering the fact that we don't have to worry about that, we're going to uh, go ahead and start that. So, drive vehicle. Wait, can I get them to take a photo if I wanted to? Like, could I task them? There is Stego. Not quite sure how this helps conservation efforts, but quite frank, I don't care. And now I'm going to save myself some time of going to the Cericeratops by getting it in its natural habitat behind a fence. Alley up. Come to Papa. There we go. I wonder, can I get a photo? <laughs> oh, tell me I can get a photo, please. That'll be just comedy gold if I'm allowed to have a photo of it coming through the air. Oh, that does not look healthy, does it? Give me no dinosaurs found. Pfft. That's not right. All right. Let's go ahead and go. I like the fact it tells me if I photoed them or not. <laughs> right? That's weird. I can go over one, but not the other. Um, so we've got Stego. Oh, is that a different skin Stego? Oh, that's cool. So we've got a Stego. We've got a Sino. Galley's... Why is it showing a progress bar on the Gallimimus? That's weird. Also, I really liked that contract earlier because I could have done it while I was driving through. Just saying. Right, what? Are you all the same species? I think you might be. But just to be safe. I'm not happy with that development. Thank you. That's a galley. Just in case we've got Arcanithomimuses over here too, which I think we do. I'm not seeing the green which is good. No, nope, they are Gallimimuses. Damn it. Right, okay. Go fast. Thank you. I'm not going to heal you because you'll just drop down to the mission requirement, required amount of health then, won't you? Adoy. They are taking quite some time to get in that enclosure. Did I put them in the enclosure? I don't actually know if I put them in the enclosure. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie poopsie. Right. I think these are just brackies. There is something over there as well, so we're going to go get them. There we go. We're up to 5 out of 12. Not bad. Those are just Gallimimuses again. Did I get the wrong one? Oh, Gallimimus 3 and Gallimimus 7. Oh, I see. These are Strathies. There we go. Come on. Pretty sure I've got these. Because there's no other... Struthies, Galleys, Arcanathomimus. Right, yeah, no. There's only the Arcana that could be fitting that sort of build. But I'm not, pr I'm, I'm not pretty sure. I am pretty sure they're not here. Let's just quickly have a quick look at the map. One, two... Yeah, that looks like that might be six species up there. Not seeing anything else that we didn't get, so before he starts to head back home, let's go all the way up here and complete the photograph contract. Because I know for a fact that's an achievement, so we're going to do that. I'm pretty sure I've not got a time limit on before things start blowing up. I'm not 100%, that's why I'm not saying 100% sure, but I'm pretty... Oh, that's the barrier every time. Pretty sure. 
Ow. Oh, I also think I'm look, a little bit down because I'm feeling quite unwell. Isn't great. Right. No. Cool. Parasaur. Collect. Submit. What are you? Are you different to the guy that's over there? I just think you're different skin. Apparently I've already caught in a pato? Oh, I must have already done that, like when I was driving by with a parasaur, apparently. Right, you're another one. Submit. Also, surely by putting them in that enclosure, they're going to get uncomfortable, so I may have made an oopsie putting them in the enclosure first. Oops. <laughs> right. Apparently there's still three different species to catch. There should be two now. So what am I missing? Aha! A little bit further down. I think. Wait. Yeah, a little bit further down. If there's anything else that we missed on the way, then we'll just exit out, go get the other guy um, sniped up and moved, and then we'll take it from there. Oof, look at that jump. I'm hoping comfort's been like turned off just for this first starting mission, otherwise, yeah, we're about to have a breakout. Pachycephalosaurus. And Triceratops! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> that makes me happy. That makes me very happy. Ah, uh, perfect. What a great thumbnail opportunity. <laughs> Volcano in the back, car accident in the front. There we go. Glorious. So we got that achievement. We got that um, contract done. Let's go ahead and... Oh, the comfort staying. No, it's not. <laughs> Fair say, staying high. Nope. Right. And... Nope. That's going to annoy me. Damn, damn mouse. Right. Gallimimus 3. Struthy, struthy. Struthy, struthy, struthy. Gallimimus, Gallimimus. Struthy. Yeah. What are you not happy about? Oh, the fish feeder! That makes me happy. Right, you've got food now. I'll give you some water. Is that like suggesting a pond, maybe, with that sort of look? Right, what are you not happy about? Social. Crimea River. Seriously, just don't break out those fences. Oh, they're heavy steel. That's not a problem, surely, then. And we need to go to this. Get ready to move it as soon as possible. Oh, it's going to take a while. You do it. Oh, because they're fast little buggers. And he's quite far away. And the helicopter's quite slow. And inaccurate. But, you know what? That wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. This will be. But, hey. That's just a thing. So I unlocked dinosaur, like Tyrannosaurus Rex access at some point, which is cool. Ah, oh, these are two new creatures. Awesome. Genetic research. Oh, we've got very limited options here, don't we? We do indeed. Unknown. Oof. New stuff. Paleobotany. This is the thing I've been looking forward to. So... I have been very much looking forward to Paleobotany, um, basically allowing me to, uh, well, just really diversify their food, increase their happiness, their prestige, which will be useful in um, challenge mode for Jurassic difficulty. There's also a new achievement for this game, where you have to play it in hard difficulty on a Jurassic, uh, on a challenge mode. I saw the achievements the other day and I didn't think there was a challenge mode achievement. And I was so happy because they suck. 
They take so long and they suck. So having to do another one sucks. And it's like completely in eight and a half hours. I'm like, oh, that's decent. But I know that there's going to be things that go wrong twice as much. And I don't know if they fix the storm block glitch. So we have to figure that out. Right. Ugh. Moving. The last one. Finish this mission after like nearly 30 minutes. I've not done much. <laughs> oh god. Right. Gala minus three. What is my cup? I don't think we're actually getting money from ticket sales though. I think it's like donations. I assume that's what it is. So. Wait. Wait, no. Wait. We are getting guests. Oh, God. That's probably why there's an emergency shuttle right there. The guests in question are staff members, which I get. Construct at least, really. I have to research it. You are kidding me. So we've got a Jurassic tour now. Um, visit the prehistoric safari experience of a lifetime. So it's a truck rather than just gyrospheres, which is awesome. And I can drive it, which is also very awesome. We've got to get five stars to be able to do that. So that's going to happen regardless. That's not an issue. Um, gyrospheres station. So you can also get them to move into the different enclosures now, from what I understand. So that's cool. I'm looking forward to the Jurassic tour, though. That looks like a lot of fun, the fact that I'm driving people around. Can't put them in danger, from what I'm aware. Oh god, I can't stop yawning. Apologies. I'd like to know if that makes anyone else yawn. I really would. I did research that, right? Yeah, cool. Alright, and now we just need to make sure that they're all viewable. So... Bingo, because it keeps the water and the food in track. So, bingo bongo. But it's got to be viewable whilst within the power zone. I don't know if it is. That will wind me up. Let me build more power. I mean, the island's doomed anyway. What's a little bit more of, you know, sort of destruction to the scenery? Also, building a platform in the time it takes to from a volcano to go from tremoring to actively erupting is impossible. So give me my impossibility, please. Building a pylon. And a substation. <laughs> oh, I need to stop yawning. I've heard that if you say pineapple just before you yawn, then you're okay. Wait. You little scrote bags, get over there. If I dart them and move them, does that count? So he's in comfort, not happy mode, but he's not breaking anything yet. I'll construct at least one viewing platform. Ooh, I see how it is. Fine. Oh, no, maybe not. Really? Above 80%. But that's impossible. I'm going to fail this. Because I didn't dart more of the same species. Right, we'll get a couple of those darted so we can at least get that for the Sinnoh. Now they start trying to break out. This is redundant. What is going on? I don't care that they're not viewable now. Boo hoo. Don't give me too close to the dinosaur. Yeah, you go to a different part. Ha ha, I'm stopping you from breaking out. I don't care. Take that. Right. Hurry up and Dartmoor, please. <laughs> Weirdly enough, a place in the UK. Dartmoor. Uh, right. Stick loads of those in there. Oh, there's another galley. Not really fussed about that, I'm not going to lie. How do you meant to keep their comforts up? 
Yeah, it's broken. I don't care. Right, where is my chopper? Add task. Stiggies. Right, so I've got to get them above 80%, so I kind of have to make sure that this is done now. Great. Right. Don't know how many they need, so we'll dart a couple. There we go. Stop breaking the fences. I hate you all so much. There we go. Oh, they can reach from that range. That's cool. Don't get trapped in between the fences. So sure. I think, yeah, you do need one more. That's understandable. No, you're happy with two. Just need to get your comfort up now. Is that keep all of them above 80% or on average? Because <laughs> getting it on average is fine. But yeah, the stiggy... Uh, I didn't know that that was going to be a requirement. That's kind of short-handed. I don't like that. we got to wait for those two. Underhanded, not short-handed. <laughs> the length of your hands have no matter on how sneaky you are. But this game is being sneaky. Oh yeah, I've got to fix this, haven't I? Woo, woo -hoo. Why would I want to? I don't actually know, but we'll do it. Um, if you don't mind getting out of there, that'd be great. Or I'll just dart you out. You've got a choice. Right. Maybe not. You you do not have a choice, neither do I. Yeah, break that fence. I actually don't care. Um, right. They're going to dart. We need to start moving the ones that are darted over here. Three of them. Cool. Who know? Dos. Come on for the tres. Tres. Yeah. Awesome. Woo. That should do it. Although I don't know if one of those was a Galley Mimus. I'm not going to lie to you, so. Wait, what? Uh, I'm not entirely certain, but why is that showing up as a Stiggy, um, a Cineceratops when I was hovering over it? Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Right. Anyway, we'll grab it anyway, because I can. Yeah, look, it's fixed now. Look, it's, it's saying SNC... What, what the hell? I'm very confused. That is very confusing. Keep it above 80%, right. I think we're going to have to save it here, and we'll continue in the next episode. All we need to really do at this point is just effectively, well, continue our efforts and get it above 80%, and then just continue with the rest of the mission and take it from there. Right, add task. Fix that. Haha, <laughs> you're about to be trapped. I'm looking for. Do you know what? I really wish you had the option of using real bullets in this game because there are some dinosaurs that sometimes get on my nerves that much that I want to use them. No, 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 you don't get to break that now because you broke into somewhere you don't want to be in. You're getting darted. Deal with it. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, we are going to end the video. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash the like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Crazy Vacuums. I'd super duper appreciate it. This was only episode one of Claire's DLC series, if you will. Don't know whether to call this episode one or episode 102 or three or whatever we're on to for the other things, but we'll take that from there anyway. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta -ra. Oh wait, a dinosaur died? Uh-oh. <laughs> Why?